I reckon we could all use a good laugh. Now we come to our final quickfire round called Scenes We'd Like to See. This is for everyone, so if you can make your way over to the performance area, please. I'll call it ideas for scenarios we'd love to see. And the performers come in with their suggestions. OK, here we go. The first subject is things you wouldn't hear on a political discussion show. Sorry, did I interrupt you? No, 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 sir. No, no, you've had your say. Now shut the fuck up. Yes, I agree. Britain's performance in the second quarter has not been all we hoped for. But there is a reason for that. This is a tough job. And I am shit at it. Of course I understand that people are worried about schools and hospitals, but what you don't understand is I don't give a shit. Is anyone else horny? And so we have a question here for the Prime Minister from Nancy Cameron, age date. And it's, when are you going to pick me up, Dave? <laughs> on lighter things to read on a health insurance form. Do you ever temporary blackouts? Please describe your alcohol intake. Moderate, average, excessive, Glaswegian. Do you hear voices? No. Are you deaf? No. So you do hear voices? Yes. I'm sorry you have lied. Would you describe yourself as very fit, quite fit, or a bit of a minger? Unlikely lines from a war movie. I was sent up river in Vietnam, <laughs> tasked with killing a renegade colonel. That was one hell of a gap year. In the Marines, our motto is, no one gets left behind. Private Cameron, where is your daughter? <laughs> medic! 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 I'll tell you what the problem is. I've been shot in my dick! <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at Wimbledon. Well, that is an incredibly strong backhand, but he did tell the ball boy he wanted the water ice cold. There appears to be a lot of grunting in this women's match, and if the man at the back doesn't stop it, we're going to have to ask him to leave. So Venus and Serena, the old rivals, meet again, and it's the eternal question, which one would you do? Well, he's very lucky to get to love 40. I've only loved five, and I had to pay three of them. <laughs> the doubles have proved great entertainment today. I've had ten of them, and let me tell you, Sue Parker is looking absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a consumer programme. Oh, the moral of the story, even if it is called Crazy Golf, don't have your willy out. Good night. <laughs> this secret camera we're using is really, really tiny, which is lucky because that rogue builder is about to shove it up my ass. My doctor said I could have up to 20 units a week, but now I've eaten half my kitchen. Things you won't hear at the Olympics. Good morning. No surprises here at the final of the archery. <laughs> Victoria Pendleton cycling incredibly fast at the moment, desperate to try and get away from a horny Boris Johnson. And all of the sailing golds have gone to the Somali team in exchange for the safe return of Sir Steve Redgrave. <laughs> Unlikely things to read in a children's book. As soon as Professor Snape saw Hermione, he knew in a few years she would be really hot. <laughs> and then, as he did every night, fantastic Mr Fox knocked over a bin and shat on a doorstep. <laughs> Rejected questions from this year's exams. If sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C, what are the chances that you're ever going to use this in your sodding that <laughs> old life? Three girls in this hall are pregnant. Who's the daddy? Without swearing, describe Peter Andre. Mental arithmetic. Count up the voices in your head. One Direction are incredibly popular. Explain. If Steve eats two apples, an orange and a banana, why is he such a fat fucker? 
things you didn't hear at the Olympics. Well, there's Prince Harry in the crowd. I would recognise those buttocks anywhere. <laughs> Sweltering conditions here at the ladies' beach volleyball final, but still those four blokes in the front row haven't taken their coats off. You've got to admit he's pretty fast for a white guy. On likely complaints to TV channels. Well, BBC, I, I recently saw something on the Antiques Roadshow I would like to purchase. How much is Fiona Bruce? Dear ITV, I just watched Loose Women in High Definition. Please remove this option. Dear BBC, why don't you get Irish comedian Ed Byrne to do a documentary about ladies' pants? I'm embarrassed in bodies. I'm a man trapped inside a woman's body. I uh, got mixed up between superglue and lube. Things you wouldn't hear in a survival show. We dropped Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson into a remote area of the Amazon rainforest with no supplies and no means of contact in the outside world. You're welcome. There are many threats to the children of the Nabutu tribe. Crocodiles, snakes, Madonna. Unfortunately, you do have to improvise some things. I've been using these leaves for wiping my bottom, which is why I've been thrown out of the salad bar. Perhaps the most rewarding thing about looking at the women of the Nabutu tribe is they have their tits out. Unlikely things to hear on a property show. We've just one hour while Gina's at the shops to improve her flat in Luton. We're setting it on fire and moving it to Oxford. And uh, more information on how to get together a deposit for a house can be found in our free leaflet, When Will Nana Die? Well, what we've done is we've knocked the wall between the kitchen and the lounge down. And what that's done is killed all the people who are sitting in the lounge. <laughs> Knock it down, tarmac it, fuck them. <laughs> On lighter things to hear in a maternity ward. There are complications, I'm afraid, for a start. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I definitely can see the head. You should do your flies up, doctor. <laughs> Ah. Bad news, I'm afraid. He's ginger. Ah. Oh, God, is that my baby? I've given birth to Andy Parsons. Ah. Basically, you just turn them over and slap them on the arse. These nurses' parties are great. Ah. No, no, I do like it, darling. Just not in that colour. Ah. Unlikely things to hear in a news programme. After years of searching, the police say that they are now close to finding who let the dogs out. Ah. Right, now let's go over to the news in the shitty place you live. Ah. This is the world's most literal reporter saying, back to the studio. Ah. And now for the weather report. Let's hope it's a hot one. Oh no, it's Rob McKelvey. Ah. Unlikely things to read on a medical label. Viagra, it'll give you more than 8%. Ah. Obesity pills, don't eat the bottle, chubby. Ah. Keep out of reach of children, not the tablets, you. Ah. Pregnancy test, pick up your daughter's boyfriend and shout, Was it you? Ah. Unlikely things for a sports commentator to say. Well, with 200 metres to go, he is on the shoulder of the Ethiopian. I don't know if it's legal for him to be there. She can see the line now. She can see the line. She's definitely pregnant. Welcome back to the women's shot put. Here's the Lithuanian. My, what a pretty little thing. Well, let's go over to Epsom for the 2.30. There are 16 runners. Everyone else is riding a horse. What a race this is going to be. And the England team sticking with the classic 4-4-2 formation. This really is the most organised orgy I've ever seen. Bad thing to say at a job interview. What do I think of nepotism? That's a good question, Dad. Well, I am a, uh, a fully qualified geography teacher and... The school's next door, is it? Ah. 
You've demonstrated a bad attitude, an inability to listen, and a complete lack of interest in others. Welcome to Ryanair's customer service team. <laughs> Well, uh, they gave me a 2-2 at university, so I just thought <laughs> I'd wear it to the interview. Why do you want to join the army? I just love a man in uniform. What would I do if I won the lottery? Tell you to fuck off. Lines you wouldn't hear in a Bond movie. MI6. No, you're a lot older than that, Bond. Sorry, James, I'm going to have to remove your licence to kill. Also, I would question the validity of this boob inspector card. <laughs> I think you may need an eye test, Bond. That sex-mad blonde you've been shagging in the embassy is Julian Assange. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at a party conference. Yes, I'm a millionaire. Yes, I went to Eton. But I really feel I can relate to the rest of you scum. <laughs> Would Nick Clegg please come to Lost Property, where his missing spine has been handed <laughs> I I'd avoid the hotel bar. Anne Widdicombe's in there reading Fifty Shades of Grey. It has just been unacceptable cut after unacceptable cut. Why can't Boris Johnson find a proper hairdresser? <laughs> Let's get drunk and join the Euro. <laughs> There have never been enough women in this party, and that is why, from this afternoon, you can call me Stephanie. Ah. I don't know about you, but I have swallowed so much semen this weekend. Ah. Unlikely lines from a cosmetics commercial. Do you suffer from low self-esteem, feel like a failure, think you can't go on? Then take 200 Nurofen. That should do the trick. Ah. Now, Daphne here is wearing a lot of concealer. Daphne? What's my secret? I murdered my first husband. Want thicker, full of lips? Then try telling a nightclub bouncer he's a twat to his face. <laughs> we don't test any of our products on animals. We use Filipino children. For the most relaxing bubble bath imaginable. Why not have a little cheeky wank when you're in there? <laughs> Do you dream of longer, fuller lashes? Then you should try re-evaluating your priorities. <laughs> Sweaty from the tube, frizzy hair from the rain, black snot, she's got the London look. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on Doctor Who. Hey, saw you from across the TARDIS, and I think I regenerated in my pants. Yes, I mainly hang around young women. Yes, I was on television in the 1970s. Where are you going with this? You've got to believe me, Clara. This is our best chance. Now, unzip my flies, and I'll explain later. I am the Doctor. I am 1,200 years old. And this is my assistant, who's 27. Unlikely things to hear on radio. This is Jazz FM. You're listening by mistake. Ah. This is the breakfast news. The Prime Minister had porridge, the Home Secretary had muesli. Ah. On Talk Radio today, we've been discussing what a tosser Nick Clegg is. And now on the line, we've got David from central London. Ah. And at number one this week, Jedward. Proving that teenage girls cannot be trusted with money. Ah. Next, Ed Miliband lays out his policies in I'm sorry I haven't a clue. Ah. It's now 10 pm on Radio 4. And before the news, here's five minutes of free porn. Ah. Things you wouldn't hear on a science documentary. My favourite element is helium. I can't speak highly enough of it. Ah. The most fascinating thing is, if you really spend enough time looking at the alignment of the stars, your wife will leave you. Tonight, we're discussing sports science. Is it a real job, or is it just PE when it's raining? In our next experiment, we're going to prove that putting Dara O'Brien in a room full of young people still doesn't make science interesting. No, Nigel, that's not how you make a test tube, baby. 
Get your penis out of the test tube. Things you wouldn't hear on a fitness DVD. OK, let's get you sweating in your own living room. I know you're an illegal immigrant. So that's three minutes in, and it's time to wave goodbye to our American viewers. I got rid of all the extra weight I had when I was pregnant just by leaving him on a stranger's doorstep. Now, I find squats very important because I can't afford to pay my own rent. Are you still too big to fit into that dress? Don't worry about it. Just go to Leeds. The women there don't seem to give a shit. And now I can completely fit into the bikini. Of course, sometimes my cock flops out. But... Unlikely things for a vet to say. I know it's expensive, Mrs Smith, but if you want your cat put down, you're going to have to make nine appointments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut open the stomach of your Rottweiler and hopefully I'll have both of us out of here in no time. <laughs> <laughs> The bad news is we've had to chop off one of Fido's legs, but the good news is you put roller skates on him, that's three million hits on YouTube right there. <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a sci-fi movie. Actually, uh, Jeremy Carl's just got the DNA results back, and apparently, Luke, I'm not your father. You can't win, Darth. If you strike me down now, I shall become more powerful than... And get off, you prick! <laughs> What is it, Captain? I've never seen anything like it in my life. Of course not, Scotty. It's the sun. If you leave our protection, you will almost definitely die. Scotty, do you still want independence? To boldly go where no man has gone before. Anne Widdicombe. Unlikely personal ads. I'm a cat person. I sleep all day and I bury my poo in the garden. Katie Price seeks new husband. Position temporary. Usual terms and conditions apply. Looking for love in all the wrong places? Well, you wanted to be a priest. Man prone to violent mood swings seeks lovely woman to go screw yourself. I love you! <laughs> Female. 22, 33, 52. One of them's my age. <laughs> Are you feeling lucky, punk? Gorgeous, five foot eleven, black woman, amazing body, great rack. I sort of put it out there. Do you like swinging? Meet me down by the swings. Sophisticated erudite man with fan de siècle tastes. <laughs> Six woman with massive norks. Unlikely things to hear on daytime TV. Well, these four date from the early part of last century, some uh, wear and tear, a little bit of tarnishing there, but uh, please welcome today's Loose Women! <laughs> the next programme is Pointless. It's the Jeremy Kyle Show. <laughs> next, Judge Judy. I have. She's shit. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this morning. Uh, I'm Philip. I'm a man on television, so I can go grey and look older. Uh, this is Holly. One wrinkle and she's finished. Ah. Unlikely things to hear in hospital. Right. I'm afraid you have had a stroke, so can you now take your hand out of my trousers? <laughs> ah. His heart stop! Quick! Get the different Ah, dif oh, sorry, he's dead. Ah. Look, who's the doctor here, me or you? Seriously, I've been awake for so long, I can't even tell anymore. Ah. No, you've got to leave this afternoon, Mrs Smith. We need your bed. I'm shagging a nurse in it at four o'clock. Ah. For him, that's my former husband. Well, because you asked me to bring in my ex, Ray. Ah. I'm afraid we're a bit short of time today. Do you mind if we pull the sheet over you now? Ah. You'll just feel a small prick, and then I'll pull my trousers up and won't bother you again. <laughs> now, what seems to be the pro- <laughs> FUCKING HELL! <laughs>
Thank you all for watching today. I hope you had a great time and enjoyed the video. Please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, as well as follow me on Twitter and Twitch where I stream daily. And don't forget to support on Patreon as well, as it helps out the channel immensely. I very, very much appreciate it. Plus, you get access to exclusive content too. Please let me know what you thought in the comments, and I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Moth the Emblem. Rest assured, there's still plenty of material to work with, so there's more episodes down the line, and I'm hoping to get them out on a more consistent basis going forward. And of course, I'd like to say an immense thank you to all my patrons who helped make these videos possible, have been supporting this channel, and just everything going forward. You guys really, really, really are our best. Are the best. <laughs> Sorry. Fumbling. You know how it is. I hope you all uh, like the extras that you got from the Nintendo video I did a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it feels weird that I've been able to output videos on a more consistent basis. But again, it's all thanks to all of you. Feedback, support, and all that stuff. It's been absolutely wonderful. And I hope that going forward, the just able to give back to you more and more and more because it's just amazing all this everything that goes on in the server just ev all the stuff the live streams every single bit of it and i'm hoping you know it just grows and grows and grows and becomes something truly really really special i mean it already is very special but you know just make it bigger and bigger and all that jazz <laughs> oh it's quite amazing it's quite amazing and i can't thank you all enough for your love and support and i would like to say an especially big thank you to wolf fox lucina 21 K Dog, Jeremy Redinger, Glen Trog 750, Chaos Sableye, VC Videos 100, Starship 9, Midnight Castle, Maggie Fall, Feralin 8392, Daniel Hodgson, Isaac A. Flores, and finally, Zenny Dragon. Thank you all so much. Mwah! You're all the absolute best, and I absolutely love you. Thank you for everything. Just, ah, oh, thank you ever so much. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you all next time.